Google's Willow chip is touted as not just another technology breakthrough, but an evolution in the way we solve some of the world's toughest challenges. The tech world is buzzing again. And this time, it's not about a new iPhone or another social media app. It's about Google and a chip so advanced it made scientists stop and rethink what they're even dealing with. This chip, Willow, is the next generation quantum processor that beat classical computing at their game. But things suddenly got strange. Just as the world was catching up with what quantum computing could actually do, Google quietly pulled back. There was no announcement. All that followed was just silence, and it became really unsettling. So, what happened to Willow? In December 2024, Google quietly unveiled something that felt more like science fiction than science. A quantum chip named Willow was a quantum processor with over 105 logical qubits. These aren't just physical qubits, but error-corrected ones. It literally marked the moment quantum computing stopped being a dream and started becoming the reality. Under the hood, Willow was running with over 1,000 physical qubits stitched together using advanced quantum error correction. Previously, this method felt impossible at this scale. Most quantum processors, even by big players like IBM and Rigetti, were struggling to scale without collapsing under the weight of noise and instability. But Willow cracked something fundamental. When Google's engineers increased the number of qubits, the number of errors dropped instead, which was shocking. And this wasn't just about speed. This was about reliability, something quantum computing has always lacked. Because in this field, being fast is meaningless if your results can't be trusted. But Willow's breakthrough made one thing crystal clear. This machine could not only compute at insane speeds, but could do it right. And that changed everything. True. Fault-tolerant quantum computing unlocks doors we're not fully prepared to walk through yet. We're talking about solving problems that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years in minutes. Medicine discovery cryptography, energy optimization, even breaking encryption systems that keep governments and banks secure. That's what becomes possible when a machine like Willow works as advertised. And Google didn't just keep this to themselves. They published results, shared methods, even provided evidence that shook the foundation of what people thought was decades away. It was the kind of leap that doesn't just get scientists excited, but even thrills the military agencies, tech giants, and entire governments watching very closely. For a few weeks, Willow was everywhere. Quiet nods from physicists, whispered admiration from tech circles, headlines calling it the dawn of true quantum computing, and suddenly there was an abrupt silence. The follow-up conference, flashy demos, and bold claims, all quietly died, and it rose. The buzz around Willow vanished just as quickly as it had arrived. Google moved on quietly. Their quantum blog went silent. Updates slowed. And people who had once been willing to bet their careers on Willow just stopped talking. So, what happened? Was it internal caution, technical trouble, or did Willow, for one brief moment, show us something that even Google wasn't ready to explain? Let's dig into this intriguing silence. The shutdown. Let's get something straight. Google didn't pull the plug on Willow. It wasn't destroyed. It wasn't buried in a basement or quietly dismantled. Willow, as of the last confirmed reports, still exists. The chip that sparked headlines and industry debates in December 2024 remains part of Google's quantum computing research toolkit. But ever since its unveiling, something strange has followed, which was the silence. And in tech, silence usually speaks volumes. After the Willow announcement in late 2024, Google's research division didn't follow up with the usual parade of tech press interviews, demo showcases, or application prototypes. There were no major conference papers beyond what had already been submitted. In fact, Google Quantum AI, the team behind the Willow chip, seemed to go quiet on further milestones altogether. That's not typical. In the world of frontier research, especially in tech, Every advancement is usually turned into an opportunity to attract partners. When Google achieved quantum supremacy in 2019 with the Sycamore processor, they told the world immediately. The entire field buzzed with debates and follow-ups. 
but with Willow, the tone shifted. There was an announcement, then a pause. And this pause wasn't due to a lack of interest. Internally, Willow was still being studied, but externally nothing. Again, let's be clear. Going silent doesn't mean abandoning a project. It often means the opposite. When a breakthrough is considered strategically sensitive, either scientifically or politically, companies and governments tend to keep it under wraps. And this is because of how powerful the technology could be and how unprepared the world might be to handle it. Quantum computing is especially vulnerable to this type of reaction. One reason is its potential to break modern encryption. If scaled properly, a fault-tolerant quantum computer could factor large numbers quickly, a process that underpins most digital security today. That's not science fiction. It's one of the most well-documented use cases of quantum computers. Governments have known this for years, and agencies around the world, from the NSA to China's cybersecurity divisions, have warned about the so-called Q-Day, the moment quantum computing becomes advanced enough to render current encryption useless. Willow didn't reach that point, but it pointed in that direction. It was the first public step that made Q-Day feel like a future that was no longer 30 years away, maybe just 5 or 10. That was enough to raise concerns. While there are no public documents confirming this, it's very likely that after Willow's release, the project entered a phase of increased oversight. In many countries, especially the United States, breakthrough technologies with national security implications often trigger quiet but serious evaluations. Google has long worked with government research initiatives, including DARPA and the Department of Energy. Their quantum team isn't isolated from the realities of national interest. It's entirely reasonable to assume that Willow, though, given what it represented, became the subject of internal reviews, risk assessments, and strategic conversations, not just inside Google, but also with outside stakeholders like the government partners, global institutions, and possibly allies. These are conversations that happen behind closed doors. There's no press release for we're figuring out if this is too dangerous to talk about yet. It's also possible that tech rivals, both domestic and international, responded quickly. In a field as competitive as quantum computing, showing that you've solved part of the error correction problem is a major advantage that could spur corporate strategies to either slow down public progress or lock it down until a clearer picture of competitive advantage emerges. So, in summary, the silence around Willow could likely means it's being worked on, studied, and analyzed, just not in the open. It's important to understand that Willow was never meant to be a commercial product. It's not something you buy, install, or use on your laptop. It's a prototype built for internal research and exploration. But what it represents is much bigger. Every tech milestone has a moment when the invention stops being a prototype and starts being a platform. For classical computing, that moment came with the microprocessor. For AI, it came with deep learning architectures like transformers. For quantum computing, Willow might be that turning point. This is not because it's finished, but because it pushed the boundary into a zone where control, secrecy, and global impact start to matter more than public visibility. Willow still exists. Google, like any large company dealing with sensitive tech, understands the risks of moving too fast in public. There might be patents filed. There might be quiet partnerships. There might even be experiments ongoing right now, just far from the public spotlight. But what made Willow so revered in the first place? This truth will blow your mind. The shocking problem solver. Google gave Willow a mathematical problem based on random circuit sampling. The test was supposed to be routine. This was not a flashy demonstration, not a public showcase. It was simply one more benchmark in quantum labs around the world. The expectation was simple. Take a tough quantum-based mathematical assignment, let the chip process it, compare the time and accuracy, and move on. Yet, when Willow executed the task in under five minutes, the quantum computing world took notice. Classical systems, today's most advanced supercomputers, would require time spans that dwarf the age of the universe to finish the same assignment. That framing has become a shorthand. We're talking quintillions or even more years. For Willow, 
under five minutes. That's how stark the gap had become. For most, that outcome read as impressive. Yet, something deeper unfolded behind the lab doors. Willow did not merely process the problem. It scaled its error handling. To use the technical phrase, it exhibited exponential error suppression. As the size of its logical qubits increased, its error rates dropped. More qubits meant fewer errors. That is the hallmark of fault-tolerant quantum computing. Long theorized but rarely demonstrated. The team had pushed through what many had considered an Everest of complexity. The threshold beyond which more resources add stability, not instability. That threshold had been the holy grail of quantum hardware researchers. From that point, the focus shifted from speed to integrity. Willow's achievement wasn't simply finishing tasks. It was completing them with reliability. The kind of trust that researchers demand before building the next layer is what Willow delivered. In domains where mathematical precision is paramount like decoding quantum states directly, this breakthrough is not just academic. It alters the foundational architecture of how scalable quantum systems are conceived. It was at that junction where recalibration happened. And not just in wiring, code, or algorithms, but in mindset. If a chip with just over 100 physical qubits could demonstrate that scaling improved stability, then projecting into the future meant just one thing. Bigger systems could follow the same pattern. Then solving larger real-world problems appeared not as years or decades away, but within reach.